Hey everyone, this is Jessico, the Rising Phoenix Dev. Sorry I haven't done any Unity tutorials lately, uh, so let's go ahead and get back into those, shall we? So today, let's do a slowdown effect. And it's really, really simple, and I'll start off with the simplest example possible. So, as you can see, I have a very empty scene with a very, very empty script file. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a 3D object. Let's create a cube. And I'm just going to put it up here, and we're going to attach a rigid body to it. And now, just to make things a little interesting, let's do four total cubes. Bam, bam, and bam. And because I like even numbers, actually, technically, five's an odd number. So, there. Since the screen's all filled up now, let's run this really quickly, and everything drops, drops like a rock. Hmm. But that does nothing with the slowdown effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw this empty script on the camera. And let's start off with the very super simple example here. We're going to do update. Good. And we're going to do time dot time scale is equal to 0 0.1 float. And now, it drops really, really, really slowly. Cool. But let's extend upon this a little bit. Don't want this tutorial to be too short. So, first thing I'm going to do is clear everything out again. Now, I'm going to do a public float and call it underscore time. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a public enum. And we're going to call it speed state. Fairly straightforward. We're going to go with super, ugh, super slow. We're going to make that equal to zero. We're going to do slow. And we're going to make that one. We're going to go with medium, which is equal to two. And fast, which is equal to three. Straightforward. And then let's also do one last one. We're going to call it normal. That's going to be equal to four. Straightforward. Basic enumeration. So we can minus that down. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a public speed state. I'm going to call it underscore state. Oops. State. And it's going to be equal to speed state dot normal. Again, fairly straightforward. We're going to want the speed to be at its base rate in the beginning. <clears throat> Next, we're going to create a private speed state. We're going to call this one state, and it's oops, get return underscore state. Oops. There. Again, the enumeration part should be fairly straightforward. If you don't understand it, I would recommend looking up the MSDN tutorials on that. Or I can, you can tell me in the description or in the comments below asking me to explain it in more detail with the tutorial of its own. All right, let's continue. <clears throat> We're going to create a private void and um, we're going to call this time manipulation and we're going to create a switch statement and I'm just going to tab twice just to have everything defaulted for me and I'm going to switch on the state once I do that everything will populate for us now Here's what we're going to do. Underscore, oops, underscore time 
is equal to, and we want this to be super slow, so let's do 0.01f. And I'm just going to copy and paste just to have everything there. And we actually don't want default. So for slow, we're going to have this be at 0 0.3. Medium, 0.5. Fast, point. Eight. And actually, you can go slow at 0 0.05. 0 0.05, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, and then obviously we want 1. So there's our switch statement there. And before we leave this method, we want time.timescale is equal to time wrong time time there we go now start and we're gonna do state is equal to speed state random dot range zero through system dot enum dot get values type of speed state dot length and update update all we're going to do is call time manipulation that's all done and we'll see the new behavior script update with time being set to zero state being normal when we run it state is at medium let's run it again medium and again slow so it's always gonna randomly select something so you can modify the switch statement oh, that was actually set to normal so you can modify the switch statement to be to switch based on anything you want. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. That's my video for this time. Rising Phoenix Dev, signing out.